Hey everyone, it's James. And Stephanie, and we're coming at you from the rain in Middlebury, Indiana. <laughs> That's right, we have been, uh, we're gonna bring you a full review of this Coachman Galleria. Yes. But this is a little different because we've actually been test camping. In yes, so we're gonna have some extra insights that we don't normally get to have when we do review. So let's just get right to it. Okay, because it's raining and it's cold. It's raining and cold. Let's <laughs> right, go check let's this go. out. <laughs> And now, from the comfort of our toasty studio... <laughs> <laughs> We're beginning with the outside like we always do. Well, and the gratuitous arm waving. And here I'm waving my arms at this uh, full-length sort of running board skirt combo. Yes. It's very... Uh, they even got a little cutout for the tailpipe. Yeah, it it's gives a, it kind of a polished look. Not so much of a sporty, but a more finished and polished look. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's polished. Yeah. Now, speaking of polish, this black that's all the way down the side, that is all glass. Yeah, there's no paint there at all. It gives it a very very even looking sheen, you know, if right. you're looking at it. Right. It's not all windows inside. There's cabinets and things in the way. But right. You won't be able to see out the whole thing, but they are all glass and they're awning style windows. Oh, yeah. There I am demonstrating from the warm, toasty interior. <laughs> well, I was on the exterior where it was yeah. raining. <laughs> Um, now we're operating the awning, and this is kind of something you should check out with a Class B you might be interested in, is to try to open the door and put out the awning with the door open, closed, because yeah, make sometimes sure, they'll hit. Yeah, make sure they have enough space in between. Right, and this awning did have lights on as well. As you can see there, we've got those switched on, and that's where we, how we filmed the intro. We actually put yes. the awning out for that. <laughs> Um, let's see, moving around here towards the back, that is the, uh, that is the Truma. exterior vent for the Truma. Truma. Yep. And 120 volt outlets. Now this is a lithium powered coach, so you could actually use this van with those outlets like a big battery pack. Because they're on the generator. inverter. Right, okay. right. Okay. So you can actually power those nice. with the big battery inside. Okay. All right, here on the back of the Sprinter, there's a standard Sprinter backup camera, mm. and we have a trailer hitch down below. Okay. It is a, uh... 5,000 pound. Yes, it is. And that's a seven pin right Wow, there. listen to you with your trailer I know, we've done a few of these. I'm catching on. There we go. So a seven pin wiring harness on the trailer. Yeah. And uh, I believe that's really kind of it to show on the back. There was okay. no ladder, so I couldn't get to the roof. Right. Now, here on the driver's side, that's the shore power cord. And again, we have the giant wall o glass. Yeah, there's not a lot of hookups on this side. Well, there are, but they're all in this one. Oh, it's yes. very neat. Remember, polished is kind of the theme. Mm -hmm. So that's the city water connection I'm pointing to there. And if you pan up, there's a little knot or lever there that I flip down, and that will hold that open. Okay. So rather than having like six connections on the outside, that blue handle... That's all a tank right. fill or city fill. They put them all in this one box, and so it makes it a much cleaner look. Mm, nice. Yeah, now there's the uh, hot and cold for the exterior shower. There's a tank flush inlet there, okay. and a satellite and cable. I think there's also a vent for the freshwater tank in there as well, and a switch there for the macerator, which we'll get to in just a second. I like that it's all well marked and easy to understand what is what in yeah. the box. Yeah, and like I said, it makes it very clean on the outside of the van. Again, that right. polished look. Mm -hmm. Um, that continues here with this uh, little lever flap, whatever, in the uh, in the running board for to hide the dump valves, mm -hmm. gray and black valves there, and there's the macerator that, okay. that we saw the switch for back, mm -hmm. and it's held up with magnets, so nice. there's no like levers or knobs to turn or anything. It's just magnets. You mm -hmm. boop, held it up, yeah. and that kind of continues up to the front, and okay. that's kind of it for the driver's side because they're all all know, right. But look at that nice clean look. Not a lot of stuff on the sides. Very nice. Yep. Yeah. Now, here on the front, a uh, pretty standard Sprinter on the front. Um, for those of you who don't know the Sprinter, that little hole, you were about to see me step into it. That's totally okay. And that's how you can clean your windshield. And that becomes very handy. With oh, hands. yes. Yes. Uh, and we will talk about that uh, cab shade that's in there because that was a pretty decent cab shade. Oh, uh, yes. You drug me outside so you get this walking in shot. So everybody watch me walk in. This was well, very I important. Always, it gives a good sense of the coach. And <laughs> this is the 24A floor plan. Yes. So that is an office desk kind of area up there. Mm -hmm. And this is the floor plan that does not have a big sofa across the back. It's got like twin beds. Look, they had made a little note. Oh, yes. There. That was very nice. So we're going to start way back here in the back. Okay. So first off, the storage up top. Tons of storage up there. Lots that was very nice. Storage. And it's lit. We didn't have to do that thing where we like take out our iPhones and shine it in there with the yep. camera to show you the inside. Yep. Like that touch, the light, light of cabinetry is nice. 
curved cabinetry. Yeah, and good. and the the you'll see a little bit closer up in a, in a later shot, but solid wood face frames, which I appreciate because I'm like a woodworker mm -hmm. guy. So now these two rear cabinets there, they're all one thing. There's no center divider in there. So you yeah, put... so if you have long things, it's easier to get them to fit up there. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very long and it's lit, got a mm -hmm. nice curved back. Yeah. And now coming forward, we've got a couple more cabinets now on the... Uh, Passenger side, that's just a cabinet. Right. And there you can see that's solid wood. That is not anything. Very nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's maple there. Okay. Um, and it's lit like all the other ones. And over here, mm -hmm. we had a Blu-ray player and some sort of uh, audio-video switching device. Mm -hmm. We're not big TV people, but yeah. it We're was more there. iPad, user iPads kind of people, but yeah. hey. All right, so then there's that. Now, back here on the back, these are drop-down, like, coat hooks if you wanted to hang something. Yep, there's one on each side. Yeah, and then there was this hole, and we mm -hmm. kind of took a minute to figure out what the hole was and where yeah. it went. And you eventually did. See, yeah. Can you see your finger? There's my finger through? coming through. <laughs> so for anything you have that might need to be plugged in, but mm -hmm. there you go. Um, there's a 120-volt plug, right. a switch for the bed, which we're showing here. Oh, yeah, the bed raised. Both beds come up. They... Yeah, motorized. Very comfy, although we actually, by the time we went to bed, we were too tired. Yeah, we didn't really use that feature much while we were staying in it. But it was But it's a nice feature yeah. to have. Yeah, now, what you're, uh, you hit there with your elbow, that is a uh, reading lamp, but it's more than just a reading lamp. I think we get some uh, close-up of that Oh, there. yeah, it has a USB on it, so you can plug yeah. in your devices right there. And there, you see how the surface of it lit up, kind of a nightlight thing, and then one more touch, boom. And mm -hmm. now it's a full-on reading lamp. Right, so USB, nightlight, reading lamp. All, all in one. one. Yep. Um, some uh, more LED lights there speaker. and speaker. Speaker, yep. Um, now, these lights were on a multiplex system, so yes. you won't see a switch right there. Ooh, there's the blinds. Easy, yep. clean look. Now, there's only a blind on this because the screens are actually part of the windows. Right, of the awning style. So there doesn't need to be a separate screen there, you know, like the up-down thing. And there are awning style windows as well. Yep. Oh, okay. We're going to go look at the space behind the beds because this is interesting. First off, you can actually reach down and get to that under bed storage. I'm showing right there how much yeah, room you have. Yeah, and it's like a good, it's what, six, eight inches or so. Yep. Oh, and at the head of the bed, there were these little little cubby pockets that kind of went the full width of the bed. And yep. we just threw our phone in there right. just for a... So any kind of sleeping accessories you need would fit in there nicely. Yep. So. But that's quite a bit of room to get down to that underbed storage. I mean, it's legit. Yep. And to show you, it's a big underbed storage. Very much so. Oh, <laughs> they had provided us an exercise ball. That was so nice when we were staying there. But it was raining outside, so we didn't use it. Yeah. It so nice. now here you are climbing into the underbed storage. <laughs> you which, can get a body in there easily. You can get you can get two bodies in there. Oh, and easily. that white basket. I can't wait to show you that. We'll show you that on the other side. Yeah. But, but what you're pointing there to that circle, that's a Truma heating duct. So there is heat piped into that underbed storage. It made the bed super toasty Yeah, at yeah, night. that's nice. And now I'm actually climbing into the underbed <laughs> We're storage. seeing how many bodies can we get. All right, but we kept it G-rated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happens under the A-bed stays. <laughs> no. All right, some storage compartments on the side still. And that so was you... carved into the uh, the passenger side wall. Yeah. Several of them. Yeah, they and did I'm... a great job thinking through storage under Not the bed. Not quite tall enough for bikes. I'm sure no. someone will put a bike in there like on its side. You yeah. could certainly do. And but... the foldable bikes would easily fit under yeah, there too. Yeah, but like our bikes on the gurney wouldn't quite make yeah. it in there. But still, lots of storage. And those little pockets in the doors too. Yeah. Now you're showing a uh, screen that pulls down and you can pull it from the outside all the way down. Yep. And it runs on a track, so you don't have to worry about it getting kind of messed up. It's very yeah, stable. It's a very clean look. And I you like can pull it. it down halfway. Oh, oh and now I'm trying to figure out. What is it with me and screens? <laughs> <laughs> screens and I just don't have a deal. I'm always struggling with screens. But you can pull it down halfway, you know, if you wanted access to the under underbed storage. Right. And blinds, you would do this from the inside. But since we were there, I just wanted to show you the blinds yep. as well. So, yay. That yeah. is the underbed storage. Now right. we're back inside on the driver's side, and here's the multiplex panel. And we, I think we've decided we're just kind of not multiplex Well, we people. struggled with this panel. We just wanted to turn the lights off when we were sleeping. <laughs> and it's, I guess there's a learning curve. You get used to it, but it was hard for us to figure out how to just turn off the lights. And yeah, so. and, and they had dimmer functions that we couldn't quite get the hang of. There, there's yeah. a learning curve there, yeah. to be yeah. sure. 
So now over here by the TV, which is some number of inches, it's bigger than 12 and less than 40, um, there's a 120 volt outlets, a USB charging, and 12 volt, and the TV did swing. Yes, so nice. It's a good it's a good location if you're going to watch TV in bed. Yeah, especially with those raised up mm -hmm. beds. Yeah. So now we're showing some storage. Oh here. yeah, this was interesting. Pull off that middle cushion and look at this this kind of shallow storage, but But mm. that's not the real uh the real star of this yes. show here. You're, you're about to show is this on the front. Yeah, now this and, was interesting. This laundry basket slid in in a track. And you know, it, I love that. I love it too. You can access it from the outside too. So I think you could I don't know, have multi purposes. You could use that for a lot of different things. Or you could just let it be a pass through for the cat. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. But I like that they thought of where to put the laundry when you want to store dirty laundry. Everybody's got it. All right, let's start at the galley. Well, I don't know if you want to call this cabinet you're looking at part of the galley or part of the yeah, It's part kind of, of the in the bedroom. middle. Yeah. Well, and the door opens to make you think it's part of the bedroom, and there's a hanging rack. Oh, pay no attention to the Amish crack <laughs> donuts. If you've ever been to the Elkhart area, you know what we mean. So I guess this cabinet can be whatever you want it to be. You know, it's flexible space, store whatever you need to store. You could use it for a pantry, store. or you could use it. Oh, and I do appreciate you pointing this out, Steph. Oh, the dovetails. Yes, you love those dovetails. And solid wood. <laughs> Drawers and check out the hardware. Like, wink, it just yes. sucked the drawer right back in there. That was kind of cool. Yep, so a nice big cabinet there. Now taking a look at the fridge. We know this fridge well. It's a Novacool RFU 7300. We have it. We love it. And there was a few of our groceries. <laughs> yeah, we were staying in it. Um, yeah. And remember, this is a compressor fridge, so no propane required. And the battery in this thing, trust me, is big it's, enough to handle yes, it for days. that's no problem for this thing. No problem at all. <laughs> now, the other appliance we've got up here is a convection microwave. Yep, I'm opening it up there. It's low, so you keep that in mind. Um, yeah, if you have trouble bending down, that could be a negative, or if you have trouble reaching up high, that could be a positive. Right. So Induction cooktop there, very nice. That's the same, same model we have, actually. Mm -hmm. And a spice rack and the whole countertop vista there, and those slots in there are intended to be sort of a, like a drying rack. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice little feature in that. Now here's something we don't usually get to do. We were staying in it, so we had water. Yeah. So, so we got we, to check the flow rate, and look at that. It's very nice. We yeah. have... We enjoyed Ample it. Ample water, mm -hmm. and that flow rate flowed through in the, <laughs> into the shower, <laughs> um, which we'll get to later. Some storage up above. With that lighting inside. Yeah, now those nice. are just a bunch of delivery items in there. I don't think any of that's groceries or anything. So no. just delivery items. But again, solid wood, curved, laminated cabinet or yeah, cabinet drawers. And again, down here. So big drawer, but shallow. Yeah. But, but uh, look at that drawer. I love there's the dovetails, and you don't see any of that metal. What's the stuff on the side of a drawer? Oh, the, the drawer metal? slides. That's a very good call oh, yeah, out. Metal step. drawer So slide. these are undermount drawer slides. So you don't see the metal on the side. You get to see the beauty of the dovetails. It's something a woodworker would appreciate. It has a really clean look when they're open. Yeah, so. but th that hardware is not cheap. I don't I really. Mean, they spend some money on that hardware. Mm. Okay. Um, so now, trash. I love this. They've thought of a place to put the trash. And there's a second compartment. You could even put recycling in there. Yeah, it was a little more narrow in the back section, but definitely doable for... Yeah. Um, and then this, I think, the little under sink sponge holder thing. That's a nice touch. That, that kind of tips me off that I think the people that at their cabinet mill are like used to doing residential cabinets ah, because that, okay. that's something you see in a residence. Hmm. Another cabinet a little shallower, but uh, another cabinet. Just making cabinet use there. of the space that they have, though. So. Plenty. And notice the underlighting on the GC. Oh, yes. We've got a better shot counter. of it later. Right. Um, there's a blind for that, uh, that window, just a pleated shade. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of going to do it for the galley. I think we have one last shot of the... There, you yeah. can see the under right. countertop lighting there. All right, here we go into the bathroom. And why do we always have you go into the bathroom? <laughs> Nobody wants to see a dude in a bathroom, you know? Well, I, think, I think I'm bigger, and so maybe it gives a, a better sense of, of the size of the bathroom, maybe. <laughs> sure, that's, sure. We'll go with that. Okay. Um, so I did actually shower in this thing. Now, it is, it's not huge. It's a van side bath, but it was adequate. And those doors, I love the glass. What do you call that kind of it's glass? Like a pebbled doors? glass on the doors. I, I love how it added light when they were shut in there. It made there you it go. more spacious feeling. Yeah, a china toilet there. And that towel rack on the door, if you have the curtain closed, it doesn't really get wet. Yeah. Um, so that worked out. There's some uh, towels on hooks behind me there. Kind of tight to film in there. But uh, you can see that I am able to stand up and, like I said, I'm 5'10", so that's maybe, what, 6'1", six, six okay. maybe, of space in there. Yeah. Um, there's no skylight in there like you have in some. Um, decent room 
lengthwise, I guess, but cross coach not so much. But if you're just using the curtain, yeah, you, you can, can poke your elbows poke out. Poke out. Well, it's a van bath. You there's gotta, always going to be trade offs. Yeah, there's trade offs exactly. Yep. Um, and so now. I think, oh yes, we have one of these. Uh, this is like a makeup mirror, a shaving mirror. Yeah, I like how it was adjustable and it had the magnifying. And if you're our age, you're going to appreciate the magnifying side of that mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Made it easy to shave. Now, this was uh, this was cool. They they didn't put an extra fixture in there. You just take the sink yeah. and that faucet becomes your shower yeah, head in there. that's nice. It's kind of space saving. Yeah, now that sink, though, wasn't super large. Yeah, well, a, a foot away is the, the galley, the galley sink. sink, so... Now, here I'm pointing to the uh, the shower miser. Oh, this is an interesting feature. Yeah, you know how when you're taking a shower and you're waiting for the water to warm up? Well, this has a feature where it will recirculate the water. So you're not wasting it all. Right, and you're waiting for that thing. You see how it's turning gray? The blue thing turns gray. That lets you know the water is ready. Yes, that's a nice feature. So you've feature. saved a couple yeah. gallons of water there. All right, and there's the toilet paper roll, and there's the soap dispenser, and yeah. It's pretty much a uh, van-side bath, but uh, fiberglass and pretty nice. All right, so now we're moving up to the desk area. Yeah, a little workstation here right behind the driver's seat. That's just a cabinet. We'll get back to all that uh, mechanical stuff later. Okay. Here's the desk, and we actually did use it to work at a little bit while we were staying yeah. in it. Yeah. Um, another pleated shade. Uh, the windows are on the Second speaker. TV, which is interesting. Yeah, and it's a 12-volt TV because it was nice. plugged into a 12-volt outlet. Okay. Now, that that I'm touching on, that is sort of the uh, the master brains for the whole uh, multiplex yeah, so control. So tank unit. levels, turning the lights on and off, all that was run right there. Pump on and off was right there, too. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that's sort of a demo of how you would work there. That's just an iPad, but we did actually bust out my giant laptop. Now, curved front on that. I, I, I'm, I don't know what I thought about that. Well, I like it. I, I can understand why they did it. You know, so they you don't, don't crack people... into it yeah, when you yeah. walk by. Yeah. But I, they have a lot of curves through their design. I think it's a nice yeah. design touch. There's more storage there, we should point out. And again, with the undermount drawer slides. But for, for function, you know, for like typing, I prefer ah. a, a flat front to my desk so I can rest my wrists. Oh, this was my favorite feature yes, of this whole pet- thing dishes <laughs> mel we got you covered buddy <laughs> yes <laughs> mel dishes under there yeah you see but you know trying to rest your wrists on the counter you know I it's see. curved but yeah well you're more about function i like the design of it but i can see what you're saying working from it would be uncomfortable for eight hours a day yeah, yeah. but and again more storage under there so an amazing amount of storage in this thing and, uh, you know, those sprinter seats are pretty comfy. Now, this is a mount for the table. There was a little dinette table, which I think I'm going to pull out next. Please tell me I do. James? Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, there's just a quick twist to get that in there. And then this table we found in the back in the under bed storage. I'm not sure if there was a place inside the I don't. I'm not sure either, but I like the table. You have some options. You can see how it's all folded up. So, it can be a small little bistro table there or open it up. I love that there's cup holders there. Yeah, and, and you can rotate it around. Yeah. And, uh, and you could actually use that as a work top, you know, instead. Yeah, I suppose you could. I suppose you could. Too. Yeah. Um, some outlets there on the front of the galley. And then these brackets and mounts here. It took me a minute to figure out what they are. Ooh. This is if you want to pull a TV outside. There's a TV mount bracket, a oh, cable okay. hookup, and the 12-volt power for the TV. All right. Is this and the good clip or the bad? Which one did you put in? Oh, you put in a bad clip. No. No. Yeah, she really does have trouble with screen doors. And this was the clip you were supposed to put in. Editor's prerogative. I get to pick the clips that mm. I use. Anyway, so now we're up here in the cab of the Sprinter. And in a lot of ways, it was a pretty standard Sprinter cab. Well, I like those privacy shades. You're about to pull them down, I think. And they were interesting. They were very beefy. And they were very, very insulated. thick, insulated, and reflectorized on the on the outside. They're, they're going to take up some room, though. Storage would be a consideration. But in wintertime, those are going to be great yeah. for like the insulative properties. I mean, they, well, they summer, had some, too. Extreme heat. Extreme heat, yeah. Too. They definitely had some heft to them, and they were, they were substantial. But, like you said, that is going to be something you're going to have to store. So that was the one, and it even had a little Velcro thing to get around the, the mirror. Yeah, yeah. They did have them for the side windows as well, and this is what we put up when it was time to go to bed. Mm-hmm. Um, we were kind of new at it, but these just kind of tucked in and... Uh, they and, had magnets, right? Right. If I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, they did go into place with magnets. Little trouble here, I think, 
There. Pop. Oh. There we go. But we did get them done. It's a learning curve. Yeah, we were new at it. <laughs> but uh, again, it's the same heavy-duty stuff that was on the front. Yeah. So they're very substantial window shades. Now, here they did have a fusion uh, infotainment system okay. in the Sprinter. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't know if that's going to carry over into the like the 2019 and on later. On the new Sprinter. chassis? Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so now coming back to the back. If you watched our other video on the Coachman Factory Tour, you'll saw that they're using now a 12-volt air conditioner. Yep, and there it is. And you'll see there's no controls on it. So you're doing that from the multiplex Very control good. panel. That's right. That is a pro air unit, and it's uh, controlled from the multiplex. We'll get to that in a bit. Okay. Now, when they gave us the keys to this rig, they said, James, we just left a bunch of these panels unscrewed because we didn't want you calling <laughs> us in the middle of the night asking us for a screwdriver so you could... So things you wouldn't normally see. Um, first of all, look at the frame on this bed for the for the bed mount. It's huge. It's beefy, boxed aluminum. Yeah. No, you could jump up and down on that thing. It's substantial. It's welded. <laughs> There's the lithium battery. It's a 600 amp hour lithium battery. That's slightly bigger than what okay, we have in that's Lance. Fresh water tank right there, the white box. Yeah. So and it's inside. Very inside. nice. You don't have to worry about it freezing up. Yeah. And then uh, you can get to the underbed storage there a little, but you wouldn't practically do that because it's normally no. screwed down. Now, mm-hmm. over here, this is all the brains of the LI3 Never Die Lithium system. Um, that is the BMS right there. There's a little blue light to let you know everything's working. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff that, that you probably shouldn't touch. Yes, really. you were sticking your hand down there, and I was cringing when I was I, filming I, this. I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. So now coming down here, you see the thing I'm pointing to there? That is actually a router. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, And that router is going to work in conjunction with this little white box right there. That is a Xantrax comm box. And that is going to enable some functions. Oh, but first, take a detour. Remember that phase change insulation from the Coachman? In the factory, it was cold. And so that stuff was solid here. It was a liquid. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It worked. Um, But getting back to that... uh, Comboxing that enables this little panel which connects to it and it lets you control several functions of the inverter from this panel so you can check the state of charge you can set the uh, the most pertinent thing is the shore breaker size okay. so mm-hmm. if you're only plugged into a 15 amp outlet you can uh, this always reminds me of a prius when <laughs> i see this picture oh the screens on the prius <laughs> yeah so now i could have spent all day looking down in that cabinet but steph eventually Cool. Moving on. Okay, so we're on the other side. That is the Truma Combi, which is a combination heater and water heater. It's a space-saving little piece of technology right there. Yep, runs on propane. And uh, here, again, it passes through to the cabinet below. But these are normally screwed down, so you wouldn't be, right. you wouldn't be messing with this normally. This They just left it undone for us. Yep. There's a fantastic fan. It's a three-speed fan, and it's kind of a mid-coach and should be just fine for getting the air out. Um, all right, so now here we are going to mess with the, uh, the multiplex unit here. So you can see there's the tank levels that I'm checking, gray, black, LP, fresh, etc. Lights. Lights. We've got temperature. But the big thing I wanted to show here, I think, is the, uh, there we go, the temperature control. This is how you control the air conditioning unit in the back. Okay. So you can actually just dial up a temperature. It's not the colder or hotter thing. There's an actual dial there. Hmm. Now here in this uh, wall of things I said we'd get to later, there's a GoPower solar charge controller, true combi unit. There is a display unit and diagnostics for your uh, lithium battery, which is uh, good to have. That is, um, oh, what was that? That was a tank heater and then battery disconnect switch for the Wi-Fi Ranger. Wi-Fi Ranger. Ooh, yes. Installed on this thing. Nice. Uh, ground effects lights and cabinet lights all in this one cabinet. All right, so normally I get a shot of James going under the yeah. van to film, but it was muddy and it was raining and I was not going outside. <laughs> so it was just me. And mostly what I'm looking for in here, full-size spare, by the way, in this thing. Yeah. No generator, there's room for it. What I'm normally looking for is water lines under there, and there are none under the Galleria, so all the water lines are inside. See those black loops there? That, that yes, black right loop there. What is that? That's like a skid, so you don't damage anything on the underside so of the it's RV. it's protective. Yeah. Oh. So now here I'm showing that's a big gray tank there going off screen to the right. 22 gallons. Ah, 22. I was just going to ask you. 19 of the black, and the black is for a large part inside right under the toilet. Oh, there's a second alternator. I recognize that. We have one of those. Yeah, and it's very similar to ours in a similar place, except on a sprinter, it's up quite a bit higher, and it's got a dedicated mounting spot. 
So it's much more out of harm's way. There's this shot from the front to kind of show you the... Uh, the, the clearance. Yeah. Okay. You could probably get away without a skid plate or anything on a sprinter. So now I did take, since we made, you know, the video showing all the insulation, I wanted to see if how effective it was. Um, my infrared camera was acting up a little, so it's kind of suspect, but it didn't show anything surprising. What it's showing is that uh, there's the Truma exhaust right there. Um, oh, yes, right in the middle. That's the okay. hot spot. Mm -hmm. What it's showing is that mostly, they've done a pretty good job insulating, and that most of the heat is coming out through the windows. Yes, I'm seeing that. Okay. And that's not, shouldn't really be a surprise. No, because in no, most that's, vans, that's always the, the issue with camper vans is the windows. Right, and that there's no exception here, you know, and you can see where they had, like, the bathroom there on the left of that shot. Oh, look it at it. It's really pretty, hot right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so that's going to do it for our review of the Coachman Galleria 24A. Yes. So if you have questions or comments, come on over to the Fit RV to find the corresponding article. We'll put a link to it in the YouTube description. Leave your comments there. Yep. So that's going to do it. Hope you liked it. Bye, Thanks. everyone.